basically being forced into becoming an academy and it's something we're not having with. It's been a community school since it was incepted, I think, back in the 30s. Yeah, 1932 to be exact. Harris, they've decided that rent is a place that they want to have a go at the organisation of the unions and academise the whole lot. So you have been fitted up as a school. It's all about profit. This is part of their privatising agenda. We don't want to produce a factory of children that are good at passing exams. They literally will become robots. Every child will have to be the same. They won't be allowed to be individuals. It's all about getting the figures for these academies. Does that mean that playing fields will be sold off? Does that mean there will be an impact on admissions? These are questions Harris have to answer. Unfortunately, the school was deemed to be inadequate by Ofsted. I don't think that's an actual reflection of what the school is. My boys go there, they're really, really happy. They're doing well at school, they're learning. Um, and they really enjoy it. King Edward's Seventh School parent campaign was called Hands Off Kids. They sent us a message of support. The parents of our campaign in Sheffield wish parents and staff of Byron Court every success in the fight to save their school. Ofsted no longer acts in the interests of our children. Inspection teams focus on looking for faults and appear too often to work as blunt instruments in achieving the government goal or forcing all schools to join multi-academy trusts. We were successful in our fight against the academy order being placed on our school in Sheffield. I say community! You say unity! Community! Unity! Community! Unity! Community! Unity! Community. 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 There's about oh, just under 200 parents involved. So we all took it upon ourselves to do research, look into everything, because we weren't getting the information. There wasn't transparency from the governors, from the school. The DfE are holding their advisory board meeting today. So this is the first stage to say we are not going to take this lightly and we are going to try and save Byron Court as a community school. You need to use direct action as well as union action. Let's go and pay a visit to Harris at some stage. Right, we're going to move down in front of the school, so if you just head down the driveway, and we're going to just reassemble in front of the school building. Byron Court, can't be bought! 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 People are coming and they're taking away our community school, and everyone feels really angry about that. And we've all come together here today to show our support and to keep Byron Court a community school. I don't personally think that we need an academy because our school is already improving by having loads of assemblies about how our school can become better and uh, how and this the school is a safe place. And um, we've had loads of um, assemblies about racism and how to stop it and how to be kind to each other and treat people. Schools that need support improve more quickly and more effectively if they remain as community schools. Even the House of Commons Education Committee agrees that there is no evidence that educational attainment improves in primary schools after Academisation. I don't want someone in charge of my kids' education that owns carpet right, to be, to be brutally honest. And we know that he takes a very high wage where that could be put into classrooms and have a direct impact on our children rather than his pockets. We actually put our kids into a community school for a reason. That was our choice as parents when we enrolled our kids into school and um, that's what we wanted to continue as. When we fought against the enlargement of this little community school, we thought then that they were enlarging it because they wanted to beef it up and then take it off into the private sector. All these years on, what we feared, that's what they're trying to do. When we were parent governors, we really had a say in how this school was run and it was always in the top five in break. Now they're cutting the parent governors. You must fight to get parent representation back on the governing body. Yeah. It's the most important thing. Having a community school gives, gives parents um, a lot more of a voice, a lot more freedom. They follow the curriculum, the national curriculum. Academisation doesn't have to follow curriculum. If we have an academy, um, we won't have music or PE or anything all the teachers love to teach us and it won't be that fun. You have to get that core education, but you need to have those fun things that allow maybe some children that don't have the core 
expertise like math they don't enjoy that kind of stuff but they're really good at art or they're really good at music and they have talents in those areas why take that away from children our school uniforms are changed and our name will be gone which i don't want to happen because i love Byron we put our kids into a community school because we didn't want those kind of rules and regulations it's a primary school we don't need uh, uh, an organisation like Harris to come in and change everything. All we want is happy children. And if we haven't got happy teachers, we haven't got happy children. Save Brian Cross!